Welcome to House of Karma. I'm your host, Carmen Serrano, and I'm here with my very important VIP guest, the, let's say, the, the Jurassic, the Jurassic Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yes. Professional wrestler. I'm not an indie wrestler. I'm not an indie wrestler. You're a professional wrestler. I'm in the independent scene. Professional wrestling means you get paid for what you do. And you do. <laughs> right? And also, now we can add actor yeah. to the list. And soon entrepreneur. Okay, okay. Mr. Vince Theo, everybody. So welcome to the show. You are a very good uh, friend of ours. You've been on, on our previous show um, multiple times. There's a reason why I keep inviting you back. You're doing very big things. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, Independent Wrestling is huge in the Bronx, in Queens, in Brooklyn, Long all Island, over. all <laughs> over. And um, so I'm very honored and proud to have Vince here at the, um, at the House of Karma. I apologize for the delay. I had to make a quick stop before I got here. I was hungry. And uh, I, made some, um, I made some bad choices. I took, I, I relied on the MTA and I knew I shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know when you know you shouldn't be? <laughs> I know, I know. And that's why I don't take the bus. <laughs> but we're here, we're, we made it. So, um, Vince, what's going on with you? Uh, I've, been, I've been touring up and down the East Coast. So I seen you was in Florida. Florida, I just got back from um, Huntington, West. Wow, was how there, was that? I was out there for a few days. Um, they took very good care of me. They have a very, very large like wrestling fan, wrestling fans out there. And you know, I didn't know how big wrestling was. Like I knew it was big, you know, WWE and all that, but I didn't realize how big independent wrestling was until my former co-host Rafael G, which Rafael. We wish you speedy recovery. Hope um, that I, you're doing better. We know you're in the hospital and stuff, so shout out to you. Um, well, when he started doing the independent wrestling, that was the first time that I ever was like involved. Um, just seeing everything, how it how it took place and everything, and, and I didn't realize how how big of a following you guys have. Well, right now we're in the middle of a boom. There's new companies coming up. Like Bugs, Cody Rhodes, and stuff. They they're they're positioning themselves away from WWE and all that, mm -hmm. and they got money behind them. Right there, so. Nice, and that's what you're trying to get into. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get into. <laughs> I hear you. I almost mm -hmm. did the wrestling, almost. You know, cause you know I used to I used to box, um, toe to toe, professional boxing, but then you know. I, I actually trained for like five years, so I'm actually kind of nice with my hands. But I, I learned that once you, boxing is very disciplined. So once you know how to use your hands, you can't use your hands. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. It's like, a weapon. yeah, a licensed weapon. so it's like, what's the point of, you know, if I can't use it, but whatever. I still love the sport. Um, how do you, how long have you been wrestling? Wow. Well, um, this year I'm on my 18th year. Oh my God. Long 18 years because you know I made life decisions, decided to make a family, right, and all this stuff. So the past three years I've been like running and gunning, and all the opportunities are opening up for me now. That's wonderful. <coughs> now, what inspired you to start wrestling? Well, um, I was always a fan when I was when I was younger. I was brought up to women's wrestling, um, Glow, mm. out here in the Bronx. They used to show it right before um, Soul Train. So you My old, friend. huh? You're showing your age. <laughs> <laughs> but I, that's how I became a fan of, of it. And then um, I saw this one one gentleman named Mike Awesome. God rest mm -hmm. his soul. He passed away a few years back. Yeah. 
Um, he was a six foot eight, three hundred pound man, but muscles, and he flew in the air like he weighed one hundred and twenty pounds. And that's kind of like your gimmick, huh? That's like, my style, yeah. Like if you guys don't know, Vince Steele, the Jurassic Jugger, <laughs> aka the best big man in the business today. I mean, this guy gets on the rope and he does flips, like he like body slams people like this guy you wouldn't think that a guy his size was that light on his feet you don't think i just chill at home all day play video games <laughs> <laughs> for real for real so he inspired you and um like what do you think of like wwe and wwf like did you ever think that it was going to be as big as it is now it was it was always big big in my eyes because that was the only thing that was out there that was like that was on tv Mm-hmm. And stuff, but um, they've been they've been falling off, I guess, because they got they they're they're an open company now mm-hmm. where you know you gotta keep everybody happy, mm-hmm. make, you make wait the wrong people happy, the fans are getting infected by it, but now we got we everybody's venturing off into the indies. That's why guys like me we're booming, we're making more money now than ever than I ever made before as, as a wrestler. I used, to, I used to get hot dogs and handshakes. <laughs> that was your payment? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with some hot dogs. <laughs> well, when, you, when you're in the beginning, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the beginning. But, but when you got course. three kids like me and, you know, you show up at I am, I have, I have, I have a uh, big menu <laughs> at home. So I can just big, imagine, yeah. like, your wife must be, like, she got to Oh, no, I'm single. Oh, okay, ladies. I if you like big men... <laughs> well, I, I'm a good big man. I keep it warm. I keep it warm in the winter time. <laughs> and I give you a space when it's hot. So. Okay, <laughs> that's what's up. Um, now you you're you're um, venturing into the acting scene. You was in um, a web series called The Dope Game. Um, my, my best friend, um, Seventy the Rock Star, he's in the music biz. Um, he decided to come up with this web series, I guess, to, to have a platform to put his music out and to put other people who are aspiring mm-hmm. artists or aspiring actors, just have a platform for someone for, for someone who doesn't have the experience or whatever to try it out. And um, I, we, are not, we just started our second season. We're still, we're still taping the, the second season, but um, getting good reviews. Now, what is it about? Um, it's a it's story based, um, based on the... The um, rapper Chinks. It's like it's, Chinks drugs, the late yeah. Chinks drugs, that's like rest in peace. So it's, it's just like based on one of his one, one of his um, albums and stuff. Um, Seventy got real close to him before he passed, wow. and that was pretty much his his um, memorial to him. So um, you know, um, good music is being played now yeah. on the show. What's your know, role on on that series? I play a, a, a dirty cop, but this season we, op- we we open up where I got suspended, and um, I'm pretty much going crazy. And I, you just gotta watch the show and see what I actually do. So you guys already know the name of the series is the Dope Game. The Dope Game on YouTube. Okay, okay. Anything else you got going on? You got a lot going on. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm touring. <laughs> um. I have a show coming up next Saturday in Lodi, New Jersey. Lo- Lodi High School, we're raising money for their um, senior class. Nice. Um, after that, I'm taking a couple weeks off from everything, just working my regular job. But back at it on June June 7th, I think I have BCW in um, Queens, New York. The week after, it will be Jersey City for Violence and Suffering. Nice. The week after that... <laughs> I'm wrestling um, for NEW, and then the week after that, I'm wrestling for a new company that just opened up. I got drafted to oh, this company. What's that called? Um, Imperial World Wrestling, and um, they're, they're, they're an up-and-coming company. Where are they located? Um, That's going to be in Queens, New York also. Okay, and where's NEW located? In Queens also, in the Elks Lodge. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, I heard about that. I did. I think I seen some promoting going on. Um, if, if like, uh, somebody wants to book you or, like, do you do kids' birthday parties and stuff? Like Actually, when I was in West Virginia, I did, a, I did a kids' birthday party. Um, the promoter up there set up a couple matches. All the kids sat, watched the shows, and, and 
you know, perform for the for the kids. You do stuff like that. Um, a lot of promoters do that. Um, you can just look up any of the promoters that I wrestle for. You can look up on, on I have them all on my on my Facebook and my my Instagram and all that. Stuff. Which is Vince Steele. Vince still on Facebook and still Vince on Instagram. Okay, okay. And, you know, um, with everything going on, you know, in the streets, it, with the, the violence and the killings, and, you know, now they just arrested a little 15-year-old boy who, who killed somebody. I think it was in um, Chicago. Was it Chicago? Uh, it was somewhere like that. I think it was Chicago. or Yeah, I think it was Chicago. 15-year-old boy. It's, it's very refreshing to see men, you know, doing positive stuff, being positive role models for these kids because I really feel like this new generation is so lost. They're stubborn. They're not scared to, like, to, like, take a life anymore. Like, before, like, you used to be scared of disrespecting your elders because you'll get that ass, you know, butt whoop. But... Now it's like they're just picking up guns. and I mean, I guess it's not now. I guess it's been going on. But now the, the kids are just more, like, not afraid. The thing is that violence is, is, is brought out more into the media and all that. Like, it's something that we, we have to get used to. Clearly, we don't. Right. And to be honest, wrestling was the only thing that really kept me out of the streets. So, like... To be honest, the kids need to find something that they're good at, and right. they need they need adults to point them to these directions. Like now, the way the, the way the communities are working now is like really messed up. A lot of programs got got shut down and stuff. Like um, when I was a kid, we used to have PAL yeah. to come to a park during the summer, keep the kids busy during the summer. They still have PAL. Um, my in selected places. In selected places, yeah. Just like. The, the the public schools there is only only a handful of schools are doing um school lunch yeah during the summer like we need we we need we need more people to stand up and volunteer and, absolutely and create more stuff for, for for these kids to have an avenue to to at least get away from the violence and <laughs> the drugs. That's so true. If you could take anything away from the whole experience of wrestling, what would it be and why? Like, say, um, you know, you, you wrestled for as long as you could. What would you take out of this whole experience? Well, hoping to be very successful, have a lot of money put away. Um, I am so sorry. I don't know why I'm being harassed. Oh, that's your phone yeah. going off? <laughs> I thought that was our new, like, <laughs> background noise. I'm looking at Charles like, okay, Charles. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, um, I, 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 I never regret anything. Because always something that, something that, something bad that happens, it happens for a reason. And also, like, when bad things happen, you learn from it. So I'm very, I'm very grateful and humble that the lessons that I learned even though it took me a lot longer than most people to get where I'm at today. But you know what? I did it by myself and I did it my way. So Absolutely. And that's something that nobody can ever take from you. Uh, Just the experience alone, you can say, I did this. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, how? What makes you so light on your feet? Because I'm, I'm scared of doing flips and all of that. It's practice. You got to practice. And, like, you're, the people that you, like, literally, like, flip on and fall on, like, have you ever hurt anybody, like, for real? I, 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 in the beginning, you know, I wasn't you're too a big sure. dude, you know I what wasn't saying? too sure in myself, <laughs> you know, but now I'm very confident. I'm, I'm, I'm a very safe person. As long as me and my opponent can walk out of it, I'm perfectly fine. And what do you say to the people who still till today claim that wrestling is not real? It's not real. I don't know how you can say wrestling is not real. You looking right at it, it's two human beings performing. Right. It's, it's just it's just a, a I guess I, I'm gonna say like a Broadway show that does cool stuff where you get hit, you do flips and you do all this cool stuff. I mean, seeing you seeing you fight, it, you kind of remind me a little bit. I don't know why. Don't take I don't know if you can take offensive or not, but you kind of remind me of the Big Show because when the Big Show first came out, you know you. 
it was Big Show, Andre the Giant, like all these big guys that you wouldn't think are athletic because of their weight and stuff. Um, and then, you know what I'm saying, like you fit right in that category because you're, you're basically the undertaker, all these people that are like over six feet and over 200 pounds yeah. doing all these acrobats, you know, like it's just, it's, it's crazy. So like what made you want to want, like, how can I say, what's the, the right word that I'm using? Like what made you say, you know what? I'm going to do some flips. I'm a big dude, but I don't care. I'm going to do some flips. Well, you know, I, growing up in the projects, when usually back in those days, the only thing you was able to do was to to um, rap <laughs> or play basketball or play any mm -hmm. sport. I found wrestling, and I was very good at it. And, and I, I, I felt like, you know, let me take a crack at this. No one else is doing it around me. Let me just see. And then 18 years later, I'm I'm in a good position. I'm traveling up and down the U.S. Um, not not paying a dime. Um, you know, get, getting to enjoy different places, different atmospheres, different people. So that's awesome. For whoever is calling Vince Steele on his phone, we do have a number here in the state in the um, studio. If you want to call and talk to him, the number is three four seven six four zero three nine two zero. Three four seven six four zero three nine two zero, because uh, obviously it's important and they want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, who are you fighting next? Um, next ne next Saturday at Ace Pro Wrestling, I'll be wrestling um a gentleman by the name of um Corey Dillinger. Um, I don't know if you remember he's he's part of the Sh team Shazam. And LAW mm. and all that. Which one is that one? The He's the real big guy. <gasps> oh, yeah. And let me tell you, I love Team Shazam. I love um, Sam, Sam the man. He, he's just, his whole gimmick and his energy is amazing. Shout out to you. Um, shout out to the whole team, actually. Because just I just love like what you guys are doing. The fact that you guys are bringing in the acting with the acrobatics and and everything is, is awesome, you know. We need more of this positive, you know, energy for our kids today because it's sad, like, like our kids should not, it's gonna be to a point where you're not gonna even wanna let your son, your son go outside, and you're a father of no, boys. I don't, I, don't, I don't, my kids don't go outside without me going outside nowadays. The and they're at the age where they, where I was their age, I was out there. Right venturing up but I, I i don't trust the i don't trust the atmosphere the yeah we're living in in some hard times right now what do your boys think about you wrestling oh they love it they like to they like to show me up in front of their friends at school what do they do dad do that trick do that uh, trick dad they, they don't they don't ask me to perform anything uh, uh. <laughs> but they constantly tell their friends oh check youtube my dad's on youtube and that's an awesome feeling, you know what I mean? Like that at least your kids are looking up to you and you're a positive role model. You're not out there, you know, doing the most as other people would be doing. And um, you have a really, a really uh, loud ringtone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys probably can't hear it, but we can hear it here. I'm about to put that as, as one of our commercials. <laughs> And that, on that note, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with more. And we're going to yell at somebody right now. Ju Jurassic Juggler. Juggernaut. Juggernaut. So I'm sorry. What is it? Juggler? Juggler? Yeah, juggler. <laughs> oh, the Juggler. <laughs> <laughs> Vince Steele, everybody. Right after this.
I want to thank my guest, Vince Steele, the Jurassic Juggernaut, because I'd be saying the juggler, the juggernaut, and I do that with everybody. I swear to God, you can't give me a name because I, I'll always mess it up. It's the Spanglish that I got. Um, but I want you guys to stay tuned after this because we have Petty Talk coming from 9 to 10 p.m. We got some very interesting topics. I want to give a huge shout out to one of my guests, Little Lex, for being on Channel 12 News. I'm proud of you, girl. I see you. And also, to remind you guys to tune in to the LDM Network from Sunday to Thursdays. I mean, we have all the shows that are popping. The network is growing. Shout out to Charles La Loma for doing his thing. I mean, if you, if you don't know who he is by now, then you must be living under a rock or you don't have no cable or you don't have no internet because Charles, like, you've been everywhere. And um, I want to shout out the, L the artists that are nominated for the LDM Independent Music Award shows. Make sure you guys go and you get your... <laughs> come, you can say that <laughs> Make sure you guys go and get your tickets because we're selling out fast. The award show is in July? July 6th followed by the Nothing But Woman Power concert, which five, which I am proud to say that I will be hosting with, along with um, Shirley Phillips from the comment section. Make sure you guys check that out every Sunday from 6 to 7. Even though this Sunday was like 6 to 7.30, because I know <laughs> you, you guys stood on for a little oh, bit longer. 
but it was it's a good show shout out to the whole cast and crew vince thank you so much for coming you're staying for petty talk right yes i am and we're gonna have a lot of fun how many minutes do we have charles three more minutes wow i said all of that and only two minutes passed <laughs> jesus <laughs> Anything you want to say before we go where your yeah, the viewers can catch find me, you? Catch me on Facebook.com slash Vince Steel. I have a fan page also. Um, my Instagram is um, Steel Vince. I have a Twitter. I'm not really too fond of Twitter, but if you do, the remix V Steel. Um, I'm on the Dope Game. You can check that out on, on, on YouTube. Um, subscribe to 70, um, 70 The Rockstars um, page. So you get updates and stuff about the show and all that. Question: What are the chances I could get seventy the rock star to come on the House of Karma? Oh, I'll just set it up. You just let me know. Let you know, <laughs> like right Especially now. now, since the new studio is so much closer and better and a lot bigger. easier to get to <laughs> and nicer yes. than that other studio, the stinky studio, or like I like to call it. <laughs> um, but you know, like things happen. You just you just upgrade. You know what I'm saying? You move forward and you just. You just do better. That's yes. it. You know? Patience. Patience. Okay, so I mentioned the Nothing But Women Power Concert, the LDM Independent Music Awards show. That's the big one. Make sure y'all get your tickets because I'm telling you, we're selling out and we're selling out fast. You cannot go into there talking about, oh, I want to buy tickets at the door because they're not, not going to let you in. A couple of y'all did that last year, and y'all know that there was no space. We have... We have uh, a limited amount of tickets available. Um, I will probably be. I'll. I'll try to see if I can give away some on the show. Actually, if you go on the LDM show tomorrow, Thursday night at six from six to eight, they will be giving. I'm sorry, six to seven. They will be giving away free tickets. All you gotta do is tune in and watch. Uh, what other shows do we got? We got the. Um, the music in the gardens coming up that we do every year as well as the summer bash where we give the kids backpacks the kids have so much fun we we have food we have entertainment charles is a great vince steel is going to be jumping off the stage that would be great to see <laughs> Um, a lot of, if anybody wants to be a vendor, all you guys have to do is get in contact with Charles Laloma. The, the link is up on my Facebook page. Go to LDM Network. I'm sure the link is up there. We're looking for sponsors. We're looking for vendors. You know, everybody's welcome. Just call the guy and he'll set it up. Am I missing anything? No, just make sure y'all log on. You stay, um, actually, you go to the LDM radio to listen to Petty Talk, which is coming up right now, right after this. Thank you guys so much for watching. The coolest station online. That's yeah, right. that's us. Because we play this. Yes. And I'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. LDM Network, The House of Karma. Carmen <laughs> Serrano, Ben Steele. Bye.